Hello everybody, today is a very exciting day. I am in a Spirit Halloween and they have everything. It's not like my old one where they only have four props. They pretty much have everything. They have Hell Spawn too. It's awesome. I will go dim all the animatronics. This is amazing. I haven't seen like anything in person, but we will get to it and I'm so excited. First up, we got Leatherface. Now, it's the Pretty Woman version, and his chainsaw actually moves, so that's awesome. Here we go. Awesome, he's huge in person. No stills the clown though. Next up we have the Mars Attacks Martian Warrior. I can't believe they have him set up because they actually don't have him set up in too many stores, but let's get him going. Don't know if you can tell on camera, but he's barely missing. He's so cool, and his face looks so good in person. Moving on, we have Young Crouchy, who's on sensor mode. I don't think his volume is up, but uh, I have this one, obviously. Um, he's pretty cool, um, but he is not supposed to be here. I believe poor George is supposed to go here. Originally Heckles, but I uh, guess they're switching out spots. But yeah, awesome. All right, entering the cemetery part area. As we look up, we have the awesome hologram. Now on camera, it does look a bit like it does look a bit weird on camera, but in real life, it's good. It only is playing the Jack the Reaper thing, though, so. But yeah, the hologram looks awesome. Next up, we have Scary Sitting Scarecrow, who is a remake of the original Sitting Scarecrow. Let's get him going. Oh, he's about to fall. Okay. Don't fall. Anyways. That's him. I don't want him to fall because they ha he's been falling in a bunch of stores this season, but so I'm not going to activate him again, but he's awesome. Then we have the cemetery looking area. Here lies Nightcrawler, Buzzsaw's down there, Grim's arm up here, and just a bunch of things. It's awesome. We unfortunately do not have Slim set up, but we do have this awesome gravestone that is really hard, actually. It's perfect to go outside. All right, moving on to the back theme, we have Hellspawn, which is not set up in too many stores. He looks amazing in person and hit somebody earlier. It was, it's awesome. But here's a close up before he jumps up. If you don't know, he's a Mr. Dark Reskin, which is from 2020, I believe. But uh, yeah, awesome. Let's get him going. <laughs> up to like nine feet I'm pretty sure but he's awesome I personally think he is better than Mr. Dark but uh Mr. Dark fans this one may be for you if you like devils or stuff in your home I wouldn't see myself getting him but he's still awesome to see in stores and he's really tall um but yeah he resets very slowly then we have the Lord Raven Tombstone, and then here is Howling Spirit. And he's actually a lot smaller in real life, but he is towering, so let's get him going. I do enjoy his face and all the tether, like the tether clothing we have on. The lighting is really good. The lighting is in a bunch of good places on him. Awesome. Um, down here we do have the fog and gargoyle. He, gargoyle. He's not working right now, but he's still really cool in person. And it almost looks like his wing spot, but I've seen the demo. They don't, I believe. I don't really remember, but $300 and he is made out of a hard resin. Don't know if you can hear that knock, but he's really detailed in real life and I like him. I also like all these leaves and the spooky trees and the um, black light moving lights down here, actually. I'm not sure if you can buy those or not, but they're really, they're a really cool effect to the whole... ISE main thing. 
Moving on, we have Darling Dolly, one of my personal favorites for this year. She's awesome. Let's get her going. <laughs> She's awesome. I love those fingers and she's just so creepy. For doll haters, this one is not a good one to get scared by. She's really cool though. And her reset takes a bit, just like Hellspawn, but she's awesome. Now we would have eternal rest, but she's not on right now and she does look pretty good. She is obviously in her skull position. She does have the back head too but uh she's not on right now no um plug-in or anything no step pad but i know there's been a lot of glitches with her so i'm not sure if they actually had the glitchy or not but she's awesome and i love all these spooky trees in the back i know a bunch of people have been saying that plastic i think yeah but it is a nice plastic so if you want a spooky tree i think you can buy these at the end of the season i'm not completely sure but uh yeah awesome Next up, we have another one of my favorites for this season is Gordo. I own this guy, and he's awesome, but I'll get to his demo because it is a pretty quick demo. His guts look amazing. He looks awesome, and his reset is actually pretty fast. He's definitely an unexpected jump scare because he's just that pumpkin sitting there. He's awesome. All right, moving on, we have the knock if you dare jumping spider thing. So to activate this, I mean, it says right there, knock if you dare, but uh, just whoever, anyone who doesn't know, you just knock here, doors open. Awesome. And then all the spiders in the background, it looks great. And then the door should shut here in a minute. I don't think you can, maybe you can buy this piece, I don't know. It definitely looks awesome though. And the door should shut in a moment. There they go. Awesome. All right, next up we have Lil Skelly Bones, and now I do own this guy. He is a fast jump scare. I love him. Here we go. Can't hear him right now. He must be on mute. Or That is definitely scarier with him on mute because he's just, wow. That is pretty scary with him on mute. That's crazy. There he goes. He's an awesome jump scare. Now, next up, we have Desmodus. Now, this one is actually much bigger than I expected. And I've heard a bunch of breakdowns. I've seen the flagship clip where, or, yeah, where he flies off of his stand and, like, lands over here on Skelly. Or, not on Skelly, but he stays up there. He's crazy. But he's a lot bigger in real life and is really fast in real life. But I can hear some, like, scratches and stuff when he goes off. So yeah, you totally might want to be cautious of this guy, but here goes the demo. And I do want to point out that his pillar is plastic. So if you don't like that, of course you can see it down there to where it opens, but he looks awesome. Let's get to his demo. He's so loud. His mech is so loud. Kind of a slow reset, but he's awesome. Next up, we would have Grave Watcher, but she's unfortunately not working, and there is a leaf on her head. That's funny. Um, but Grave Watcher is a lot bigger than I expected. I, I thought she would be smaller. I thought, like, Lil Skelly Bones is smaller than her crouched down, but he is obviously taller, I think. But uh, there's a leaf on her head. That's funny. I've never seen her work, but her eyes look so good in person. She's awesome. Next up, we have the Black Heart. I want this guy. I said it. I want him so bad. He's awesome. Don't be afraid. Your time has come. Join me now and forever. We will own the Knights. He's awesome. <laughs> Definitely the best Reaper prop of the year. He's so cool. All right, next up we have the entire zombie baby shelf. Uh, zombie babies are crazy. 
Um, you just saw Devil Cherub in the background, but here's Gutsy Gwen. <laughs> just a quick little demo of her. Nothing much, but yeah. They also have two of the zombie baby cradles, so that's awesome. All right, here's some of the door decor and just read this. And I will be going over to some of the displays. So let me just do a quick walk, walk through. They have all of the tiny tears, which is really cool. They're a lot bigger than I expected. They have a bunch of the licensed blow mold, props, uh, projectors, snow globes. They're really cool. They have an entire shelf of the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, which is awesome. They have the Pennywise and the Leatherface statue. This is actually really cool. He makes the chainsaw sounds. That's awesome. And they have the penny wall. Guys, they're bringing Slim out right now. Okay, as I'm waiting for Slim to get set up, they have all of the Chucky dolls, they, including the Glenn doll, which I haven't seen in too many stores. They have a bunch of these paintings. It's awesome. And posters over there. All right, next up we have some of the Beetlejuice stuff. Awesome. All right, just about done with the video, but here's some of the animatronics they have in stock. They have a Darling Dolly, they have an Annabelle, Sinister Spirit Doll, Sitting Scarecrow, two Young Crouchies, two Howling, how, howling Spirits, one Pretty Woman Leatherface, a Ghostbusters thing, and Emmeline, which looks, it's a crazy prop. Two Poor Georges, two Gordos, one Bubba, two Scary Sitting Scarecrows, and a Grave Watcher right there, and then more of the Sinister Spirit Doll, Annabelle's, and then two of the Sam Sitting Dolls. All right, here's another pile. They have three sitting scarecrows, one Emmeline, another poor George, two of the black hearts back here, if you can see. They have uh, two sitting scarecrows. I think there's another one down there. I'll have to see in a second. Um, three dagger mics, one Desmodus, which is a box, is insanely large, two sitting, scary sitting scarecrows, a stilts, and then a couple of the black and red jumping spiders. And then behind stilts, we have the dummy props, and then, yes, another uh, it's a scary sitting scarecrow back there. But uh, there's more stock, but um, yeah, this is a nice little pile. Guys, Slim is getting wired up. We're, we're gonna get to see him here in a sec. Here's all the plush dolls that they have. Guys, they just finished setting up Slim. He looks awesome in real life. <laughs> He's really tall enough and he's fully really extended, but he looks so good. His face is a bit deformed, I think. And there he goes with his Mickey Mouse hands, Nate guy quote. All right, we have a couple or a bit more of stock. So we have two Desmodas. We have two Martian Warriors, which is crazy. We have, I believe, yes, two Hell Spawns right here. We have a Slim right there. Um, we have these, which I have never seen. We have a sandworm, sandworm groundbreaker. We have an Emmeline, a Bubba. We actually have two Emmelines. That makes four in the store, I think. A scary sitting scarecrow, two eternal rest, another uh, ground, or, yeah, sandworm groundbreaker, two grave watchers, a leatherface, fogging skull pile, and an Annabelle. So yeah, that's awesome. All right, guys, that was pretty much it for the Spirit Halloween 2023 store. It was amazing, and I'm so glad I got the opportunity to see all of these things in real life. Bye. Goodbye, Leatherface. Goodbye.